Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing another DC villain. We're going to be doing Harvey Two-Face. So let's dive straight in. The first thing we're going to do is take your pencil, a dot in the middle of the piece of paper. Exactly in the middle. So just roughly put a dot in the middle. And then we're going to draw a circle. So I'm just going to mark out the top and bottoms of the circle. And then both sides on the right. And then again on the left. And then this will help me draw the circle roughly the right size. So curve the circle around and join it up from the little markings all the way around. I like to go around a few times just for no reason. Just seems to get a better circle. Once you've got your circle, you want to take your ruler and I'm going to draw a straight line down the middle and then on the right hand side then again on the left hand side, straight through the markings that we've put. So we've got three vertical lines. Then we're gonna do a horizontal line straight across the middle, and then one at the bottom, just about an inch above the bottom of the circle. Once we've done that, we're gonna make a start on the eyes. So to do that, we're gonna map out from the left side of the nose about an inch out, and then a little bit wider for the other side of the eye. Same on the right side of the nose, just a little step out and then wider again for the eye. So as you can see, you've got three equal gaps. An equal gap in the middle of the nose and then an equal gap for the left eye and an equal gap for the right eye. Once we've done that, we're going to mark a circle at the bottom for the nose. Now we can start on the eyes. So we're going to start with the left eye first. And we're just going to go up from above the line and then flat across the top, down in the center. So then it goes down in the corners and then flat. So we're making like a oblong shape with some sharp corners for this eye. We just add a little bit of detail on the left side, like a crease. And we're going to draw the pupil from the top part of the eyelid. So it looks like he's looking up and aggressive. So we're just going to add in some of the eyebrow. So his eyebrows are going up into the air and then they curve out wider than his eye. I'm going to do it quite sharp on the eyebrow. It's nice and thin on the sides, thicker in the middle. And it goes up to form an angry expression. Just going to rub out his eye here to make it a little bit shorter. Shorter and sharper on the finish. Then we add the crease back in. And I'm going to make his eyebrow come further down. And his pupil join rounder. And I want the eye at the bottom part to be a little bit straighter. There we go, so it's nice and straight there. So that's the left side. I'm just adding the pupil. And thicken the iris up. Now we're just going to add in some expressions under the eye. Towards the nose. So he's got like a creased face. For his expression to be crumpled up. So it's just drawing it up and then it comes out wide following a similar shape to the eyebrow which I'm just going to thicken up and make his eyebrow a little longer. So he has another crease in, directly in the middle that we're going to go all the way up and down because this is going to be where his other side of his face starts, like the burnt side. So on the burnt side his eye is going to be different because it's going to be much rounder because it's more like just the eyeball no eyelid on this one so we're going to do like a circular oval shape but r higher up so much bigger this time it's kind of like a little potato and then we're just going to do a nice round circle in the middle kind of like a terminator so we've got his eyes roughly in line and then we're just going to pull off some skin texture around his burnt side of his face. So above the eye 
it's got some creases coming up and curved over to try and give that 3D effect. And then sort of like his eyebrows there, but we're not going to draw his eyebrow in. We're just going to draw the line over it and some branches coming off it. So we just extend it all the way up in a jagged sort of way. Then where we put the circle, we're going to make a start on the nose. So we're going to do like a, a V. And then we're just going to line in from the inside of the left eye. Draw a line roughly down. And that's how wide we're going to do the nose for the nostrils. So they were just going to do like a little sharp arrow pointing left. Like a hook for their nostril. And then we're going to bring that down towards the centre. And then curve it in the middle. I'll just rub the other line out because I want it a little bit lower. So the nostril there, I'll just extend it a little bit. That looks alright. So now we're going to do a little dimple coming off that. So we just stick a line on the nostril on the angle. And now the burnt side. Again, we're just going to follow the same principles. Draw a light line down from the inside of the eye. And we're going to do this nostril slightly higher up. So same arrow point in the other way. And the nostril goes up inside and then around. Now you've got to remember on this side there's no skin, so it's all like the underneath of his face burns and whatever's left of him so we need to add lots of texture so i'm going to draw a line straight up like a vein or some sort and then a line through it and then another one higher up going through that Make sure your lines are not straight. Try and do them curved and jagged so they're going over the bridge of the nose. Now here, just to make sure I've got the proportions right, I'm just going to measure the width from the centre. So I mark it on 5 centimetres that side and then 5 centimetres on the left side. So as you can see on the left side, I want the face to be a bit wider. If we correct this early, there's no need to make any adjustments. So that's better about the other line, the old line. That was just rough. And follow the new line. And we'll have a more proportionate face. We just need to get a feel for where the face is going to be. So we know the width is right there on the line next to the eyes. But we've got to find how far in we're going to come in on the jaw and the forehead. So I think the eye on the right side is a little far away from the side of the head. So I'm just going to rub the top part out and make it a little wider. Bring it closer to the side of the head. I'm not going to do it much, but just the tiny little bit. Make it look a bit better. That looks better. The eyes seem similar width now. So I'm just going to add in some texture on the right side. I'll make the iris a little bit bigger inside and a pupil now on the right side of the nostril we need to do similar to what we've done on the left we're going to do a dimple coming out of his face we just need to extend the middle of the face higher up and then on the left side we're going to make his expression mark a little higher And then we're going to add some more texture marks on the burnt side. So he's got like the creases of the forehead. And then one coming out of the eye. And then it goes up above like the eyebrow line. So we put that on an angle. It's kind of like where his eye socket is, you'll remember. It would go up and curve over the top of his skull. So these 
couple lines curve around the right side of the skull. And then we're just going to tackle the nose area now. So right from the nostril, the line down the middle will continue. So that's going to go straight down. We'll do it slightly wavy. And then his mouth, we're going to line up light line down from the middle of the pupil on the left side and then on the right side we're going to do it slightly wider because he's got like a different facial expression on the right side so his mouth dimple roughly goes there so we'll continue the line down the middle from the centre of the mouth I'm just going to line it up right in the middle of the corner piece. So it's a curved line. It has a thin top lip. So a nice little sort of curve smile. And then a fatter bottom lip. And we're going to draw teeth inside. So I won't draw the bottom lip in yet. Then the mouth on the right side, it curves right in line with his dimple. So just like we did on the left side, it's going to curve up. And he has a very thin layer of, of what's left of his lip. And then it comes down on the right side. And then it'll curve up like an egg timer for his expression. Now the bottom lip will add in on both parts. There we go. Do a little crease over the top of the lip, curving it. And then it gets narrow around the top part. wider at the bottom and then narrow at the top and we'll join that crease down just rub out some of the guidelines that we no longer need and as you can see he's got his mouth open on one side and his teeth clenched on the other now we're going to add in a chip, uh, chin mark so like another dimple of where his chin is beneath the lip which a lot of people have and then try and draw a bottom line for the chin and we curve the bottom part of the skin for a bit of detail so a rough guide to find out how long we need to do the chin we've got it roughly in all segments so if you just draw a line across there you can see the forehead's the same and then the middle part the eyes the nose are the same and then the same for the bottom, nose to the chin, is the same. If you just do it with your fingers, you can line that up. So I'm just going to rub that out and make it a little bit shorter. Now we just need to bring in the jawline. So we're going to draw in the cheekbones. Just need to try and find where I need to bring it in. So right, almost level with the nose. We're going to bring in the cheekbone. So halfway down the nose, we're going to bring in the cheekbone in two segments of the line. I'm going to split it in the middle. And then if you follow that line down, that'll join to the chin without joining it together. So we leave a gap in between. And the same again on this side. So this chin part goes very close to the mouth because his mouth's much bigger on the right side. Just curve it in and I'm going to rub that line out so the chin's a little bit narrower. Curve it nice and close to the mouth. And the same on this side. So 
so you curve it across and that'll fill your chin in and you've got the cheekbones in the middle so on this side we're not putting the cheekbones in as much so we're just going to come straight down for the chin and then we will add in a little bit for the cheekbone later on Now just above that line, we're going to add in a duplicate line. So it's sort of like a parallel line like the eyebrow. And we're going to curve it a little bit and do another crease above it. So it's kind of like the frown line of the forehead. And then we're going to do a wavy cracked line through them lines all the way to the top of the skull. I'm just going to do these in different directions to give it some texture on his burnt face. Now we're gonna add in the forehead. So on the left side, we've got a little bit of hair cutting in and then it goes up. And then we want to curve it round the top of his forehead to cap it off. And then we can place in the bottom part of the ear which will go more or less in line with the center of the nose. And the same on this side, you want your ears in line. And then the top part of the ear is gonna go in line with the line that we did in the middle for his um, expression on his face. So if you line it up with that, and then we'll add in the hair. It's going to flick out on the outside. And then it's going to go inward as it goes across the tuft. And his ear comes out right there where we've marked it in line with the expression line. And then it curls around at the bottom. then put some detail inside the ear. Yeah, it's just like that. And then we're just gonna do the same on the other side. So we're gonna put his ear a little bit lower because it doesn't look level. So we rub that out. And then it's same again, it goes down and then out a little bit. straighten his jaw up a little bit and his ear will come out slightly different on this side because he's got burned skin so we're going to see more of his ear so at the bottom we've got a couple lines going in joining to the top part of the ear and then the bottom will join in the middle just like that so it doesn't stick out as far this year, but they're both in line. As you can see. Now moving on from the ears, we need to add in his sideburns from his hair. Now his hair on the, on the left side flicks out a little bit like a tuft and then goes back in. Now, I'll just fill in some of the teeth on the burnt side. So we're just going to curve it up and down a little bit and then fill in roughly where his teeth would be. So it's, you can see like his uh, gums. So if we just put them in line with little curves like this, then again, we're just going to curve them like a little M. And then the same again on the bottom, curve it upward. And as we do it, we want to do them smaller because the teeth are going further back. So now we're doing like half U rather than an M. And we curve the lines in the middle. So now they're getting sharper on the end. Bring 
that down a little, make it nice and narrow. Same again, want to be narrow as it goes down the back of his face. So to give it depth. And then he's got some texture lines on the gum, gum line. So we're just going to do some lines coming off where the teeth are. That looks good. And then we're going to extend these lines on the lip area and add some more details on. We've got one coming up here off the jaw. And then there's cheekbone coming on from the ear. And then a couple more overlapping. His chin dimple will come down this way. I'm just going to rub this out and thicken his lip line up a little bit. And then we'll add a little one there and there in a different direction on the bottom of his chin. Then we can move back onto the side of his head. So we're going to bring in his hair for the perception. We're going to bring it inwards. And then on the top part, it comes off the top of his skull. So in at the ear and then up. So it's like you can see the side of his hair, like the sideburns. I'm going to do like a round, bald skull. Now we just need to fill in some of the gaps on the forehead with some of the burn marks. So if we just add in the lines, do them jagged and round them across the skull. So it gives the perspective that it's 3D. Curve it a bit further, these lines. Just rub that one out, it's a little thick. There we go, I'm going to make it a little bit higher up. Give them a little bit more of an expression. And then we just want to put a few more on the cheek. A couple more coming off the eye. Round them over the eyelid. Draw that round. Break it and then bit further down and then we'll add one across going through it I'm just going to extend a few of these lines a bit further down and I'm just going to rub out some of the guidelines that are still knocking about rub out the circle that's still on the forehead some of the lines that are still on the hair on the outside there we go and see what we're working with now. Right, so I'm just going to add in the neckline on both sides. And that's going to curve round. From his chin, he's got like his neck muscle. And then obviously, he's still got burnt skin on his neck on this side. So I'm going to curve his neck round. And we just need to draw his collar in. So from his collar, it's going to curve round on the right side towards his neck. And then we're going to draw some lines on this side for his burns. So I'll just follow him down. Just extend his teeth there. So for his collar, he's got a suit on. So we're going to start his collar of his suit a bit higher up where his chin is. And then we're going to draw a line straight down to the bottom. And then connect the collar. And then we can start his tie. So the collar comes down and the tie will fit in. So again on this side, his suit's going to curve around at the corner point of his jaw. And that's going to go straight down to the bottom of the page. His collar will join against that line, so straight up to the suit. And then we make a start a bit higher up on his shoulders, coming midpoint from his cheeks. And his suit flicks out 
like so. So it's like a penguin suit. And then just fill in the tie on this side. So his tie's not fully to the top, his button's not tied. So it's a little loose, a bit messy. And then on the right side, when you do the same again, so draw it in line with the other side of the suit. Diagonal line out and then down. And then the same again, so we're gonna make like a little triangle up. And this is the top part of his suit. And then draw his shoulder off. And that's his bottom part done pretty much, I think. So we're just gonna put some texture lines in his hair. Draw some waves coming through. And then we want to add in his hair. So his hair's very wavy on the left side where it's not burnt. It's got a thick, wavy hair. And on the right side, it's all greyy, stringy. So I'm just gonna draw some like stringy hair together. Like it's being fli flicked. And then curl them round across the top. So from the ear, it's going to go up. A little bit of flick on the side. Make a sharp pointed spike for his hair going in. Then we'll put some texture lines on this, curving it round the skull. So there we go, we've got the right side of his hair done. And then on the left, so he's going to go out a little bit, a flick to the left, and then the middle. So in the middle, we're just going to draw it rather flat. A few spikes across the top and lower it down to the side. Then I'll just finish off with a few more texture lines inside his hair. Now looking at it, I'm just gonna make his lines a little bit longer on his forehead. Because I think his forehead's too high up, so I'm just gonna bring it a little lower down. I'm going to shorten it. I'm just going to draw a line here and rub the old one out so that his hairline starts lower down. And the same on this side. I'm just going to curve his head up. I'm going to curve it in shorter and rub out the old lines. So I'm just going to draw the lines just in front of it. And then I can rub out the old lines. So I've made it a little bit narrower, his face there. Narrower on his skull and his hairline lower down, which will make his hair longer on the top. So I think that looks a bit better now. Just by adding them two lines a bit further down. A few more lines down the right side of his hair just to follow the pattern. And let me just, just curve this a little bit more rounded and add the skull upwards. That's, that'll do. And I think we'll leave it at that. And that is Harvey Two-Face finished. Once you've done that, I like to go around my drawings with a black biro pen to ink it. And then you can either colour it in or leave it as it is. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.